What's going on, YouTube? Clayky's all back again with an Octopath Traveler COTC video, and my god, I'm so happy to announce I've been working on this all day. I haven't even got to play the game. I got this game to work on an emulator, and it's so cool, it's so awesome. It took me hours of looking up Reddit posts, trialing and erroring. I went from Windows 10 and upgraded to Windows 11, and there was some weird stuff I had to do to make that happen. But here we are, and I don't think you guys have to go from 10 to 11, by the way. That's just something I tried to make things a little bit easier. And I'm going to show you guys all my blood, sweat, and tears, and my friends and I went over to make this thing work on emulator and make sure you guys get the job done. And I want to preface this, and I'm going to say this multiple times in the video. I am no computer expert. Expert, okay, I'm not some freaking Best Buy Geek Squad guy. I just did what these uh, sites told me, what my friends told me to change, etc., to make this work. Now, I want you guys to do research. Don't be like me, a dumb dumb, and just click on stuff because I am not responsible for what may happen or may not happen, or if this may work or may not work on your computer. Okay, so I want you to take that to heart. Listen to me. Look this stuff up before you do it. So the first thing you're gonna do is go down in your Start menu, menu on Windows, and you're gonna type in Turn Windows Features On or Off. Okay, you're gonna type that in. Open up this little window once you have this window open you are going to head on down you're going to go to hyper v you're going to activate that you're going to scroll down a little bit more and then you're going to activate windows uh hypervisor platform and then windows virtual machine platform or just virtual machine platform check both those boxes then scroll down and turn on windows subsystem for linux have that turned on then click ok when you activate those again i have no idea what that means i have no idea what a virtual machine means i think it's like opening an os in your own computer or whatever but that's what you're going to look for to get done once you do that it's going to ask you to restart after you restart you're going to open up the most recent version of bluestacks the uh, multi-instance manager, and you're gonna do that in admin mode. So right-click it and put run as admin. So once this is open, this is where you're gonna be. And before we thought it was gonna be Pi64, but that's not what we're gonna be using today because once you activate the VM, you're not gonna be able to use Pi64 anymore. You're gonna go to instance, fresh instance. See, you can't use NuGet32, you can't use Pi64. We're gonna be using NuGet64 bit. You guys are gonna click next. In these settings, the only thing I changed was like four to four. And then I made it custom, and I made sure all this was clicked. This is what I did, and then I created a new uh, a new version of BlueStacks or whatever. So that's what I ended up doing. That's how you started out. That's the next step you guys want to do after activating what I showed you. The next part is you want to head into your settings on BlueStacks, and you want to make sure it matches what I have here. So the biggest thing is when you go into graphics, I have compatibility, OpenGL, OpenGL, and software decoding. Make sure all of these are on when you get into your BlueStacks after running it again as admin and activating those things. Once you get, uh, once you get your uh, blue stacks ready to go, we're gonna head home. You're gonna go ahead and go into the Play Store, log in, and I need you to download two apps. One being Octopath Traveler, the next being something called Net Blocker, and I'll tell you guys why this is important in a second. You may not have to do this step, but I have to do this step every time I play. So we're gonna go ahead and close blue, uh, close Octopath Traveler, and show you what I'm talking about. So do not, you don't have to use Net Blocker yet. You know, go step by step. I ended up having to use this, so go ahead and try to open Octopath Traveler with the settings, with everything we've changed on your computer and gone through, and uh, we'll see if this ends up working for you. So you'll have to wait a little bit, and I'll go ahead and go through this here when it loads. So it should load up for you, and some of you guys will be able to just to get in and play. Other people are going to run into the problem that I run into, and that's going to be... Uh, what happens here so it's gonna be in a loading data screen and then randomly it's just going to turn to a black screen and you're not gonna be able to get through so if you're running into that problem where you're trying to load in and it doesn't just automatically load in because there are people that I know who did the steps I just told you and they just get to load in there's no black screen they just load in and start playing the game they have no problem they finally get past the loading data however Unlike it was before, see, this is what happened. So right there, if that happens to you, that means we have to go into this next step, which means you need to open Net Blocker. It has these ads. I'm sorry, Genshin Impact. Woo! You're going to open Net Blocker. You're going to go to All Apps, Octopath. Make sure you turn off the network, and you're going to turn this on. What this is doing is stopping Octopath from connecting to the internet. Everything else on your computer is, but Octopath is not. You're going to open up Octopath again. This has to be done. If you have that black screen problem, this has to be done every time you open the app. It's really annoying. But if you know how it works, you know, it's not that bad to go to the side, turn on NetBlocker real quick, you know, load up Octopath. So I'm trying to load Octopath here. It's slowly loading up. When it gets to the part where it'll tell me, I, retry, I don't have a connection. You'll see what I'm talking about. That's when we're going to go back into NetBlocker, and we're going to turn that bad boy off. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to let this run through real quick. Takes a little bit, I know. <laughs> but, man, I'm just so happy to have it work, and I hope it works for you guys because it's been something else today for sure. Okay, so it says retry. Then you're going to go ahead and click the home menu 
Open up net blocker. Turn that bad boy off. Head into back to your home menu. Open up Octopath. Hit retry. Once you do this, and again, you'll have to do this every single time you load the game on your emulator. And you, since you, if you have this problem, you know you're going to have to do it anyway. You go ahead and click in here, and the black screen problem should be solved for you, and you should be able to play. Hopefully you guys are blessed and do not have the problem with the black screen of death, because it sucks having to go in there and turn that on. But I'm just happy because I kept getting to that black screen, and everybody else didn't have that problem. At least my friends didn't. And they were just playing the game, and I was like, what's wrong with my computer? Like, maybe it just doesn't work. And it turns out I had to do that extra net blocking, um... Uh, trick little hack there to make it work so we're gonna load through here just to show you guys that it does load and then we're gonna be getting out of here man i'm tired today i i did the video earlier and see now it actually loads through isn't that weird i don't exactly know why it works or how it works or you know in what way this is actually working out for us here but that's what you guys got to do to play it on an emulator i know it's a lot of work it's a pain in the uh the pain in the ass for sure but uh, you guys will at least get to play. See, now I'm loaded in. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, hopefully this helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. I'm not sure if I can help to the fullest. I'll post a lot of the uh, details, like, you know, what to type in, what to enable, disable, and stuff. But you guys can pause the menu to see that as well. And there's one more thing you could try to do in your command prompt, which I'll leave in the comments down below as a pinned post to see if that might help you out. You can put that in as well. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if it helped you out. Please give me a like and a comment. It helps boost the video. And if I helped you work it on an emulator, that would be very very good to pay off all my work I put into today. Subscribe for future COTC content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.